Today is actually my last day in self-isolation. Today is an official lockdown in all of Jamaica. No movement Monday. Grand rising. Today I'm going to be vlogging what my life has been like inside for the past three weeks. I have not left my house in the past three weeks. I've just been staying here until my place has been being remodeled and I didn't expect it to take this long but I'm not complaining because I was extremely sick for the first week. Anyways, little health scare. I'm doing better now. In the rising, I have a pretty strenuous morning routine. But because I've been kind of off my flow lately, it's just been more intuitive just because I'm not in my personal environment. I like to just open up the curtains, fix the bed, and then go on into the bathroom and freshen up. I'm definitely not ready to go back into the real world. Today is actually my last day in self-isolation. Um, I'm actually moving tomorrow. My place is done tomorrow. Today is an official lockdown in all of Jamaica. No movement Monday. So they really taking the shit seriously. And I, oh. But yeah, anyways, I love to listen to positive affirmations first thing in the morning, even after I get up and meditate, unless I'm listening to reggae first thing in the morning. So in the meanwhile, I'll just uh, touch up my locks and change for the day because I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga, so I'm not going to take a shower right away. Not that I'm trying to impress nobody either because I don't smell bad and I'm not leaving my house, so I'm not gonna waste any water. So right now, this is my dresser. I've literally been living off the same three items all three weeks. Oh, boy, that was bootylicious. All right, so I came up with this chill outfit. So of course, let's just do a little outfit of the day. I am wearing these cute, comfortable shorts from Calvin Klein. I got these at Marshalls in the States. I'm wearing a natural tie-dye tank top from Fashion Nova I got about a year ago. And then I'm wearing some pine cones from Third Eye Pine Cone and a beanie that was custom made here in Jamaica from my boyfriend, but he gave it to me for now. So don't tell him, but I might just steal it off of him. Waist Feeds by Tay Topics and Crystal Jewelry by Tay Topics. So go follow my brand if you would like to see more of that or more creations. It is hotter than a banshee right now, so I am just gonna go open up all the windows in this apartment. Looks like it's gonna rain today. All right, so I got my little friendly dose of good mounting. The first thing that I like to do when I get up and start moving around is I need to stretch. Usually about this time, around this time, I usually get on my phone, I go check my social media, I see if anybody messaged me. I'm just gonna go on my little socials. Nothing too crazy, but like I said, my morning routine is different than everybody else. Like a lot of people wake up and the first thing they do is they go on their phone. That's toxic for me. I say me personally because since I've been waking up and meditating first thing in the morning before I talk to anybody, before I open my phone, it's brought me so much clarity, no anxiety. Like when you wake up and the first thing you see is like, national disasters and a lot of brainwashing and a lot of self-comparison if you're i used to be one of those people i'll wake up and i'll sit there for like an hour on my phone just like oh what's this dives into this rabbit hole what's that dives into that rabbit hole and go on and on and on 
I just get the leftovers. Thankfully, I'm not seeing the same trend every single day. I wake up, it's the same trend. It's the same TikTok. It's the same person. It's the same. No, I'm glad I did a social media clean. Nope. Nope. Now that I finished corresponding back to DMs, I didn't look at any funny memes today, but in general, I'm the funniest joke in the room. So I just be constantly cracking it up with myself all day. I'm really, really fine being alone. Like being inside for three weeks has been no dent, no problem, no impact negatively whatsoever on my mental, physical, or spiritual well being. It's actually been a vacation inside a vacation. I'm just in flow state right now. And it's raining. I am about ready to eat. So. Um, I don't really eat heavy in the morning, so I just make myself like a nice little smoothie. Frozen bananas, blueberries, frozen strawberries. Um, ooh, I didn't realize I had leftover frozen potatoes. nutritional things. I will add some moringa seeds. If you guys don't know about them, moringa seeds, them are super good for you. I just open them, you know, like this, and then I put them in this. Sometimes I'll put ginger. Where's my ginger? Okay. <laughs> Found my ginger, some wild ginger that my... Um, it's wild, like I said. Go ahead and just blend this up and then I add my protein powder and sometimes just a little bit of honey. So usually right around this time, I usually plan for my day and I get everything I need. Protein. <laughs> this is the only stuff I could find in Jamaica as of a month ago. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with finishing editing that video. You know when you like you're almost done something and it's like yeah, I'm almost done. And you're holding your breath. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that. Believe it or not. Oh, I just tasted that ginger. It's like low-key burning the back of my throat, but it tastes so good. Believe it or not, guys, I actually still edit my YouTube videos from my phone. So, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's kind of um, been a challenge to say the least, but you can only imagine how much is taking a toll on my phone. My phone been a, I don't know how my phone can take it. I have 256 gigabytes on my phone, so that's why I can edit on my phone. And I'm actually using a free video editor called Vita, but it's not good for like long videos and it's not good for, for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do some big things, some big man things. So my phone is about to retire. So anyways, I'm finishing up some last few YouTube videos on here so I can transfer everything onto my computer. That's just the goal. to have a little steam and sometimes I like to steam slash medicate once I've done a little bit of work and my brain feels a little combobulated and I just want to clear my mind because I smoke sativa I think that's what a lot of people are unsure and confused about is how I'm able to be so productive and legit have a productive day when I smoke And I like to use this, the clay one, just because the big daddy, it be eating a little too hard when I don't, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I'll be like, um, I was just waking up. I didn't ask to get masha up this early in the mornings. This is the way he go. As I come to a completion, finishing this YouTube video, the last final steps of my YouTube video is honestly just looking for music. 
there's not much music that I need, so I can just vibe out and work on some business creative-esque things and steam while I look for the perfect vibe for this YouTube video. In case you're wondering what I'm steaming on today, I'm steaming on some gelato. So I saw that Emma Chamberlain just posted a new video on her channel. If you don't know who Emma Chamberlain is, she's a big inspiration of mine. She's on, I'm not subscribed. I just found her when I started YouTube. She was one of the people that was a big influence in jump cuts and dry humor. But at the same time, she is just so herself. It made me feel comfortable to be myself. So I just love her. A problem to have. Today, um, I lived in the fridge and I went up in the <laughs> Hello? Let's try the... Okay. I'm medicated, you guys. So, oh my God, I did. Apparently 114. I don't know where the whole day went, but I'm absolutely starving and that's not really healthy and I'm not setting a good example for anybody. So don't judge me and don't take my advice on my morning routine or my actually it's it's the afternoon, it's the evening on my day-to-day -day routine. So I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna bake these oven roasted potatoes and uh yeah, my mom should be coming, she should be here anytime now. So um let's go get some food. Food's done. I Food's on. I am low-key a little drained. I'm a little parched. Ow. I'm just gonna wait for foods to be ready and I guess continue to listen to music and wait for my mom to show up. She should be here any minute now and she's gonna be so upset to find out I'm vlogging. She can't stand being featured in my vlogs, by the way, and I love you, mom. So I know you're watching this. I love you. Few moments later. All right, it looks a little burnt on the edges. Don't judge that. I like them crispy. Them good day. All right, guys, I'm so proud of myself. This food actually looks so good. You can't tell me that this does not look good. People, look at my oven roasted potatoes. I know it did not look flattering on the tray, but a girl can cook or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I save all my ketchups <laughs> in case it's not obvious. Yeah, they come in clutch for days like this when you don't have ketchup for one, for two. Just all right, gonna give thanks to my food. Thanks. Mmm. Mm. <sighs> Done. Edit video. Check. Fruit mukbang. Check. Sat around and did nothing for a long time. Check. It's been a very productive day, I guess, so far. I mean, considering it's lockdown and nobody's doing anything. So yeah, you know, I've been inside for the past three weeks. I didn't realize it was three weeks until yesterday. And then that's what honestly made me 
motivated to make this vlog today. I'm gonna be honest, you know I'm a low-key introvert when you don't realize how long you've been inside and you don't care. I could literally stay another three weeks inside again. <laughs> Just because um, Jamaica is like the most outgoing culture, so... For me, this is like nothing but recharging. Like, I feel like I've just been in one long meditation. But yeah, you know, everybody needs a break every once in a while. And I'm glad that I took the time to realign. And what have I been doing? Resting for one, cleansing myself, meditating every day. I was gonna meditate literally like 15, 20 minutes ago. Usually I meditate after I eat, but my mom is supposed to be coming. So I didn't wanna meditate while she's showing up. I might just give her a call and see where she at because sometimes she'll be like, I have something to do or she'll be like, I have to stop somewhere and that'll give me the opportunity to reset. So she didn't answer. I think I'm just going to meditate anyways. I'm going to meditate till she gets here because I could be another 5, 10, 15, 20, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 60, 70, and you know, a whole day later. So yeah. Guess what? Guess what? I'm vlogging. But I disagree. The almond stuff was good, but it made me have a itchy throat. Ooh, I can eat it though. Man, fuck it. You're like, it's worth it? It has cold milk. That's what, that's what got me. I'm yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. It's exactly what I was thinking. Like, cold milk! <laughs> I'm sure it's time. It's looking really good. Come on. What's going on right now? Come on, hot fudge. Here we go. I fell asleep. Well, my mom's leaving during the lockdown. She already knows she's gonna get pulled over. Right. So I'm getting too old for this. I'm playing. Never. You'll never be too old to be loved by your mother. Oh my god. I'm actually like kind of medium not hungry, but kind of hungry. So I feel like I may be hungry later, so I might- Let me go see what I have in the kitchen. This whole vlogging thing, yeah, it's overrated. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Uh, I have bread. I can't stand cooking when I'm not hungry. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I know I'm signing up for a commitment for the rest of the night to, to stay up, which means I need to take care of my food situation. I don't have quick snacks, things that a normal person can just like, oh, I'm gonna have a toaster strudel now, or like, no. Plus being vegan, um, I gotta cook everything. So if I don't meal prep what I'm gonna eat, then I'm just gonna be hungry. <laughs> and that's my life. So, yeah. I'm just thinking like, is there any possibility I could go around this? Do I have to be adult and cook? I'm like one second from just going back to bed. I think that's a wrap. I really shouldn't turn this light on though, because it brings all the bugs, and all the bugs are like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, it's nighttime, go back home. All right, so I'm checking my iPad right now at my list, and I'm gonna go through it and see how much I really got done. I finished everything I needed to get done for the day, all my business planning, all my research. It's late, so I'm gonna go get some sleep. I'm so done. Tomorrow's a whole nother vibe, a whole nother 
vlog considering tomorrow's moving day, so I guess I'll just see you tomorrow. And this will be two separate vlogs itself. It was so nice chilling with you guys on this lockdown. That's honestly been kind of like most of my flow for the past three weeks. Just wake up, stretch, move around, listen to affirmations, meditate, plan for business stuff, edit, and do it all over again. So please like, comment, subscribe. I definitely plan on doing more videos, more vlogs soon. So if you'd like to see more or any cannabis related content, go ahead and give my YouTube a subscribe or go ahead and just subscribe to this channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching to anybody that stayed. Um, it's been really fun making this video of behind the scenes of my life. I'll see you soon, YouTube fam. Peace, love, and light. Sila. You look like a mushroom cap now, mom. You should see me now. Good night. <laughs>